and some desk space there. I'm going to give you back some time there, but you can have a final positive. We have three weeks worth of personnel that's backed up. <laughs> Uh, pretty simple, this, this uh, particular agenda, uh, some of these names you'll recognize. The number, uh, number one item here, I think the biggest job, is the uh, Deputy Secretary of Commerce. Uh, Clarence Brown is the choice of uh, Mac Baldridge and also... Well, hello, yes. Excellency, how are you? Very happy to be here, very happy to see you. Great pleasure. Our Archbishop of New York, Archbishop Ashton, how are you doing? Mr. Harris, Colonel, I'm of the reception of the meeting with you. I'm going to get to the line of my local mayor on the government. We're waiting for Chip Boucher, Mr. President. I'll be here voluntarily. Oh, yeah, it's my pleasure, Mr. President. Yeah, this oh, is okay. the first Chip one. Chip is the one that puts us. Well, this is my busy one. Every night, I'm going to ask for the questions. I'm going to ask for the questions. I have been in this country for four years as a private of the army, as a new york. And then I was called to do that. This is my first pastoral country because it's more. President Chip Chan. Well, we, I have a warm feeling. We are in April. My Attorney General when I was governor, and now my successor. I do. I do. I have been I have been there. And in the on the fourth of November, as Catholics, I was in California when you were elected. <laughs> I did some praying. <laughs> Thank you, Eric, you indeed. And uh, I know him very well. And he came to the back. Thanks, Dirk. I guess we. country for us is our home, and indeed we are so much uh, hopeful that through your continuous and steady effort of supporting the President and the Central Government, that is that uh, all communities wish, and I add my voice to the voice of other community leaders. Well, thank you, thank you for all the help that you have been, and we are going to continue with yes. And secondly, that I I would like to express to you my joy of seeing my people, our million people, in the United States, uh, so happy, so prosperous in this country of so great freedom and opportunity. And we Armenians and other communities in the world look on the USA as that great nation. And it is not for the compliment I say this, we believe in it, that support the rulers of the small nations who really aspire for contribution in the family of nations and the states, the United States stands for all these people and we are very happy that your government has provided our people all the facilities in this country of the United States to prosper and to bring their offer, they offer their contribution to the growth and the prosperity of this country. Well, okay. And therefore, this is the insignia of the Grand Cross of Cilicia. Cilicia is the ancient kingdom 
where my ancestors came from, where my predecessors lived, and only it was after the First World War that our Catholic state moved out of Cilicia and came to re be reestablished in Lebanon. So this is the grand cause of the ancient kingdom of Cilicia. With your permission, I would like to have the great honor of granting this decree in the name of that small Armenian nation. I am greatly honored. I thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May God strengthen you in all your services. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. President. Let us take one picture together. fundraising drive for the United Negro College Fund. And it has been well launched. Stake here representing Andrea Reynolds company. They contributed a million dollars to the fund to get this drive underway. And it's a very worthwhile drive and one that I didn't have to do. do. Whatever small part that I can do for it. And I know that you've asked for a, a statement that you could use in connection with the drive. There it is. Thank you. 
again for helping this start. And thank you for the award for the award this evening. I tell you, they're going to have a hard time making business out the villains anymore. This whole private enterprise thing is just spread throughout the country. So, and as I said, we're very thrilled to be a part of it. So this is a product of um, our printing plan in Tiffany, New Jersey, and hope that the uh, Centennial Fund starts to grow and grow and grow. Well, there's a very handsome contribution to the, the effort, and I'm sure it will be a help. I'm very proud to... We have 250 people who, some of them have a, a big part of that, and we're very happy to have a part of it. Well, and we're just thrilled to be here. Well, I'm pleased to have this. Thank you very much. <clears throat> this uh, Philip's father was a, had a lot to do with that. Well, but would you give him my thanks? Please do. Oh. That's uh, the lady might continue to stand there. Well, I hear the money's rolling in pretty well. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah. Well, we hear that. I <laughs> well, this should certainly be a big country. This is just beautiful. I once had the thrill of getting up virtually before dawn, coming back on a ship from Europe uh, to get my first dreams. That's <laughs> <laughs> quite an impressive sign. It's going to be great to have it all in good shape again. Yes. Well, no, we appreciate thank you. We certainly have you down here. Uh, it's quite a thrill to meet you, Mr. President. Well, my pleasure. Again. may take a little bit of because these things never seem to cooperate the way they're supposed to. Yeah. He's got on a white shirt, and if you just pin it right on the, on the flap of his uh, pocket, he's got room of some of this above it. Just hang on. I'll hand this to you, sir. I'll read the citation. If you'd like to just say a few remarks to Commander Warren and his family. Okay, I tell you what, once you get people came, immigrants came, and they didn't have papers. They put a card on them, W-O-P, that meant without papers while they straightened out whether they came into the country and that's where it came from and that's all that meant. <laughs> Sorry to see you go, but I know those things happen. Yes, sir. No I'm pleasure, sir. We don't know. We know it's in the President of the United States takes pleasure in presenting the Legion of Merit to Commander William A. Waters, Civil Engineer Corps, United States Navy, for service as set forth in the following citation. For exceptionally meritorious conduct in the performance of outstanding service as commanding officer of the presidential retreat at Camp David, from May 1981 to June 1983. Commander Waters consistently demonstrated professional competence of the highest order and performed all duties with great distinction. His keen insight, leadership, and attention to detail enabled him and the personnel in his command to provide the highest degree of support to the most senior officials of the United States and numerous foreign governments. 
Commander Waters provided the perfect atmosphere for each presidential event at the Naval Support Facility Thermont, Maryland, and maintained and supervised a facility improvement program which resulted in the maintenance of the natural wooded beauty of the camp with increased security and a more capable emergency response organization. He exercised sound professional ability, initiative, and exceptional judgment in carrying out his many assignments in support of the Office of the President of the United States. His outstanding leadership, perseverance, and selfless devotion to duty, Commander Waters reflected great credit upon himself and upheld the finest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Behind his 
Dr. Rhodes. We have oh, someone else the chairman of the board. I in Chicago at the time of Lyle Davis. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The first neurosurgeon in Chicago. That's right. The very same first one. I worked at Presbyterian Hospital. Is that right? Well, thank you very much, Mr. Yes, President. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Well, thank you. I appreciate thank you all. Congratulations again. From the last shift on. I bet you like that. We're going to run down the floor of the accelerator now. I like that. There'll be some happy people out of the lead as we go through the rest of the country. So we're getting it done. That's wonderful. 4,500 today. Yes. Isn't that wonderful? That's so if we get down where we're getting most of them uh, that we can get back, we'll be back probably another year with the final inspector. We're, we're not after it. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Good to see you. Reagan, I'm studying with you. Here, the first fish caught, Maine, comes, uh, to you. comes to the President, and his father uh, caught the one that was delivered to Franklin Delano. That's great keeping this family. He must have told you really quick and bold. He did. <laughs> he, sure did. he taught me well. He had to retire. Just a little one for me. Just a small. Just a small. Yeah. Just a small. Just a small. <laughs> there it is. Nine and a half pounds, 31 inches long. Very good. Mr. President, it's, a, it's an honor and a privilege to present this first Atlantic salmon from the Bangor Salmon Pool in Bangor, Maine, Penobscot River. And I hope that you sincerely and Mrs. Reagan enjoy it at your dining table. It is a delicious flavor. We, we will, I can assure you. Of course, it's symbolic of something else, and I know that it's. It's been a great effort up there for cleaning Maine, up those rivers. Cleaning up the rivers so yeah, it really is. <laughs> these could be back again. Oh, it's happening. It's, it's true. It's, it's just wonderful. wonderful. Yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. Thank great. you very yeah, much. Yeah. This is a symbolic of a joint program we have between okay, the federal government and state government. The sportsmen and the industry all combined. We started a number of years ago. Yeah. And this all Nicaragua yeah. third. Benin. Uh, uh, I think Rock was, it should be third. Ambassador Spain. What an honor for me. And Madame. Madame, you and I hang over there with a picture taken, and then you will come over and join us, and we'll all have a look. Well, welcome. Thank you very much. Tuesday, and we're looking forward to that visit. But no, we enjoyed very much having uh, the royal family here, and and uh, we had met them once long well, years ago in in Spain. Yes. And, uh, you know, please return my warmest regards to him, to the king. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Well, it's a pleasure. Welcome to to Washington. Pleased to have you here. Let's do it. and then all of you will come in and we'll have a good picture after we have one. Well, thank you. And, uh, I hope I was delighted with what the Parliament did. Uh, I guess then we'd better look out there for
Thank you. Thank you. Is it? Is it all right to give it? Yes. Oh, there's a gentleman. Minion. Why don't we Okay. Mm. I want two. Oh, come on. Well, that's it. Yeah, you can. Say thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wait, one. Here. Okay, just one minute.